Tonight, some parents are using a ploy to get their kids enrolled in certain school districts. We're hearing from local realtors who say they're seeing it happen. It's a dodgy tactic that's leaving home sellers in a lurch. KPRC 2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum live in the Katy area tonight with a closer look. So Joel, getting a child into a sought after school district can get pretty competitive. Oh, no doubt about that. I'm involved in a little bit of that myself, but I try to keep it legal. We're in the Cinco Ranch area of Katy tonight. Seems like a great place to raise the kids. Parents love the schools here. Parents want the schools here. Parents may be stepping over the line to get their kids into schools here. If you're a parent, you already know it's a pretty cutthroat process to get your kids into a desirable school, but this is beyond the pale. We've seen a number of these happen here in Houston, especially in the areas that are, are thought of as better school districts. Katherine Van Zutphen is a realtor who just listed her own Cinco Ranch home and got an offer and then got duped. Obviously, we were a target for people that wanted to get their kids into school like that. You see, to get into a lot of school districts, all you really need up front is a home purchase agreement. And experts tell us that some parents are getting that paperwork, submitting it to ISDs, and never actually buying a home in the district. They kept asking for that executed contract so that they could enroll their kids in school on Friday. And that is exactly what they did. And then on Saturday, they told us they weren't going to close on this contract because they had no money. We are not identifying the family in question, but we have reached out to them with no response. Incredibly, all of this happened before the earnest money even came due. So unless Catherine's suing and tying up her house in court, that's that. But Catherine did contact KDISD and... I got two responses. One response was, I'm sorry that happened to you. And the other response was, uh, we can't find kids by their address. And along those lines, tonight we got a statement from KDISD. The name of the individual provided by your outlet is not associated with any KDISD enrolled student. In terms of enrollment criteria, the district requires that parents, guardians provide proof of residence with a utility bill, purchasing paperwork, or lease agreement. If a lease agreement or purchasing paperwork is provided at the time of registration, a utility bill must also be provided within 30 days of occupancy. So it looks like we've got to check back in about 30 days. We're live in Katy tonight. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC 2 News. No, you will, Joel. Thank you. We move